in this uh, section we'll be discussing hepatic portal system or vein there are three different types of a portal systems that exist one is hepatic portal renal portal and hypophyseal portal systems out of which two are present in higher animals like human beings one is hepatic portal system before we take up the actual system we need to understand some basic thing basic is about the circulation say this is heart now in case of normal circulation what happens is from the heart a blood vessel or an artery is going to carry the blood to a particular organ say here is that organ and in this organ this set of uh, or sorry this uh, artery divides into a set of capillaries and these capillaries unite to form a vein which pours the blood into the heart again so this is a normal circulation and this is known as the first set of capillaries this is a normal circulation when heart pumps the blood through arteries or arterioles it reaches an organ in an organ that arteriole gets divided into a finer uh, cluster of, of blood vessels which we call the capillaries through this capillaries exchange of substances would take place so if from the uh, blood something has to come into the organ like gases or nutrients those would diffuse it and from the organ if something has to be sent to the blood that would go into the blood and this blood will now be poured into heart this is normal circulation path in hepatic portal system there is a slight change the change is the heart is going to pump the blood into an organ so the same thing the artery is going to carry the blood into an organ and now this organ is say small intestine here this blood vessel is going to divide into a set of capillaries and these capillaries would join to form a vein now what is happening because the organ is small intestine when the blood comes here what the blood is bringing to the intestine is oxygen so oxygen is going to diffuse into the small intestinal cells in the small intestine we have seen in jejunum and ileum part maximum absorption has taken place that means from here all that absorbed food glucose fructose amino acids and with the help of lymphatic vessels even the fat would be poured into the blood so what is coming here is all absorbed food all absorbed food this includes glucose fructose everything we have seen in the part of assimilation that all that glucose which is absorbed goes to the liver where it is either converted into glycogen or after certain modifications it can be changed into other intermediate compounds amino acids have to go into the liver in liver the required amino acids would be converted into proteins of our uh, use after deamination it would be converted into other product that means all that absorbed food should go to liver but if it follows normal circulation then from here the blood would directly go to the heart i'm drawing it dotted because i'm going to erase it in a minute if this was normal circulation all that absorbed food that means all glucose amino acids fats everything would go to the heart and then heart would pump it to again all the organs 
Now, in all those organs, amino acids are not going to get converted into proteins. Where is this going to happen? Is in liver. So, now, the change is that this blood vessel, it takes this blood with all the absorbed food. We can say it is loaded with all the absorbed food. It goes to another organ and that organ is liver. And here it again divides into a set of capillaries so that exchange can take place. So what is happening here is all the absorbed food is offloaded into the liver so that assimilation and all changes can take place. And the blood without all these absorbed material goes back to the heart. This vein, we are calling it vein because it is formed after the first set of capillaries, they have united. And this vein is going to liver. We call it or we use the word hepatic. We are using the word port or portal because a port, a seaport for example, is a place where the cargo ships offload all that stuff which they have brought. So this vein is going to offload all the absorbed food in the liver. And that is why the name is hepatic portal vein. And the reason we are calling it a vein because it is formed after union or fusion of the capillaries. How do we define this uh, complete portal system? Portal system is simply can be defined as it is the system in which the blood vessels break into the second set of capillaries in the second organ. In normal circulation, there is only one set of uh, capillaries. In case of portal system, the vein which is formed from the first set of capillaries breaks into a second set of capillaries into a specific organ where it is going to offload all that food which it has absorbed. So this is hepatic portal system and here what is happening is in this uh, arrow which we are showing here is all absorbed food is offloaded here. So this is what is meant by the hepatic portal system. Normal circulation is like this, only one set of capillaries. In case of portal system, there are two sets. The vein is formed by the fusion of capillaries which are from the first set. So we can write it as the first set of capillaries and this is the second or second set of capillaries. This is the first organ where the blood is supplied and this is the second organ or the intermediate organ. And because it is liver, we are giving the term hepatic portal vein. And this entire system is known as hepatic portal system. And its main role is all that which is absorbed in small intestine should be first offloaded into the liver where all those substances would be used and modified. And the blood which goes here is the normal deoxygenated blood and all the food has been absorbed. So it is not containing any absorbed food material. So this is our hepatic portal system.